Alright you guys, so it's uh, it's been a while since I made a video in this style, me just talking directly to the camera, or in other words, you guys, the viewers that enjoy the stuff that I make. Here to talk about the fourth anniversary. What an absolute... Uh, what, how do you, what, do you even call this an anniversary? This is... An, an absolute dumpster fire of a celebration. I, I don't I don't know what you would call it. It was an absolute horrible celebration from part one to part two. And now we have part three, which as you can see on the screen here is, let me lower my, uh, let me make my camera smaller, sorry. As you can see here is Super Vegito. And what else do we get besides this Super Vegito was, this here I don't even know if they have it updated on, on this part but it does not look like it okay so they're not they're not showing it here but the other thing that we got besides this this banner for ultra Vegito is a raid that's coming out soon and that is it oh and we had the um, the battle gauntlet for the Zenkai Goku who is literally just a copy paste of Zenkai Piccolo and this I want to tell you right now, people are overhyping that that uh, spirit bomb Goku just because he finally got a Zenkai. He's not, he's not, he's not going to be used often. He's not, he's not great. Um, only forty percent to damage at the start of battle. That's not, that's not viable in this meta. It's just look at Piccolo. People, the people looked at Piccolo and were like, okay, he's he's bad, and they were right. He's he's, he's bad. I was giving them the. The benefit of the doubt, because if you fight androids, you have 90% damage, but the issue is, as relevant as the tag androids are, they aren't every single match you fight, unless you go to, like, very high rank, that's all the people run is, um, what I've seen, the combo is Whis and androids and whoever else. It's usually the combo, so they could get the green card, and if they get the green card off, they win the game. It's as simple as that. You you can't do anything against the androids when they have a green card, you just lose the match. So they tried to counter the androids by releasing a bunch of buffs for blues. They had Zenkai Vegito Blue, who is a very powerful Zenkai. People highly underestimate him. Then we had the the unique equipment for Saiyan Saga that was I know specifically was made for Nappa because he nullifies endur or sorry, it doesn't nullify endurance. He nullifies uh cover change. So not only was he a un um a counter to just the androids but it was a counter to MUI so you couldn't you couldn't tag in with him otherwise MUI would die I wanna tell you right now MUI is overhyped as well yes I understand he's powerful but if you have him anything less than six stars he gets smushed by everything anything will kill him I used him at three stars not that great I used him at six stars he's usable but he can still die very easily and now I have him at seven stars, which is it's fine. He's basically the same. You can use him, but if you're not careful, he'll just get one shot still. Um, I think I only had him live in ult once, but the only reason why he lived it was because it was from Ultra Kaioken Goku, which obviously is type disadvantage, so it's not going to do anything. Um, I will say he got he did get one shot by uh, this Vegito though, because he goes type neutral, and that's the only reason why. Uh, so that's basically that. That's the whole idea of this video, if you will. The whole idea is me going through this and explaining, or giving my my take on as to why they made this so bad. Because I I truly myself I truly don't understand why it's this bad. We got minimal events this year. We got very little at the start. Part one. They expected MUI to carry the entire part one, which was a horrible idea because they released MUI and then they released alongside him a transforming blue Vegeta who, if you have at six stars, will one shot the MUI like it's nothing. I, I used them at three stars or f I think it's four you get him at. I'm not too sure to be honest because I'm at six now, so I'm not sure. But I used them when I first pulled them once and then I would I was one shotting MUIs left and right. Now I got him to six stars and he could one shot a seven star MUI with his blue card. He's insane. The Vegeta, the blue transforming Vegeta is very underrated. Uh, 
But as far as that goes, that's that is nowhere near enough to carry a whole part of a celebration, just two characters. Now I, I could hear you, some of you arguing, oh well they released free to play characters. Well guess what? None of them are usable. The only one that's slightly usable is the purple T.O.P. Goku because of mono purple. That is it. The same thing goes for um, uh, purple Super Saiyan Gogeta. The only reason why he's usable, mono purple Super Saiyans. Put him on any other team and he's not great. He's not good, to be honest. I have him at 14 stars already. He's just not, he's just not meta relevant. You look at someone like the new Majin Vegeta they released. Complete garbage. You put him on mono purple. Sure, he can tank, but guess what? That's mono purple. He has like 6 million Zenkai buffs. He should be able to take hits. And it's just, it's, this whole celebration is just really disappointing. And another reason why it's so disappointing was because for the people that play Dokkan, I, I have my Dokkan fans here, right? Surely, if you're watching, you would understand right now, Dokkan, at the same time as Legends 4th Anniversary, is going on on its seventh anniversary and has these god characters with the LR Super Saiyan 4s being the best in the entire game. We have like four or five events in part one, then we have part two that's going to give three new events, partial added to old events and new events, and the new stages to the red zone, which is a new event, the hardest difficulty possible. Then for part three, we also get more stages and more free to play characters and awakenings and easy A's. And then there's a part four, which is like a mini celebration. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a mini like part. And they added the, the free to play character easy A for GT Goku for JP for global. It's going to be the global first uh, event that they teased in the, in the global letter, um, in the global letter to us. See, it's not loading here. Sorry, my internet's a little bit wacky right now, so. But that's that's the, the gist of it, of what I'm trying to get, is I don't understand why Legends thought releasing only MUI for part one was a good idea. MUI and, and Transforming Blue Vegeta, I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. And only the free-to-play characters that released, and none of them are usable. I just, I, personally, I don't get it. You look at Dokkan, for example, right? Where you might think, oh, the 7th is 7th anniversary. It's not a fair comparison. Well, since you want to be like that, let's go to Dokkan's 4th anniversary. Dokkan's 4th anniversary was one of the best celebrations in the entire game. They released both of the LR Super Saiyan 4s, but just one LR was Super Saiyan 4 Goku, one LR was LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then for this year, we had, I can go back here, uh, I was going through the information here. Sorry, give me a second. It might go a bit too far back because it's taking a lot of load. As this loading, I'll explain. So, and for this, the seventh anniversary, then we had the duo um, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta, as you'll see here as soon as it's load, loaded. We had them as a, a dual unit. We had so we had the gods as a dual unit, and we have the LR Super Saiyan fours, as you'll see here, that transform into Super Saiyan four Gogeta. And we have a ton of events coming, and we have a ton of events for part one, and we have a ton of stones for for the fourth anniversary for Dokkan was exactly the same. We had a we had a bunch of anniversaries. We had a special uh, easy A that you could go up to stage nine nine nine, which is the max of any easy A stage. And you got resources for clearing every single stage up to 999, which was a brand new thing from the 4th celebration, which is one of the best things they've ever done. And then for the 7th anniversary, the ongoing celebration for Dokkan, we have a new uh, stage that's coming to Easy A stage that gives, for those of y'all that, that play um, only Legends and don't know what I'm talking about in Dokkan, in Dokkan we're getting a new Easy A stage, just like a challenge event if you will, that one event gives enough to do three multis from one event and you can complete it all in one run there's no time like time restriction that legends likes to do there's no oh you have to wait and unlock these specific characters to play there's no oh you need to grind this first to play it's immediately unlocked you just go play get stones summon you're good 
Legends, the one thing I hate is the time restrictions for the free to play characters. They're all trash and you have to wait for them. I don't understand why we still have this restriction. You can see it for an example, Majin Vegeta. Everybody knows he's bad. Why? Because he was badly designed. If you look at it, they released a full power battle for Majin Vegeta to get the rest of his Z power, which is not content. That is not content. That does not it doesn't count. You need the new character to be the hardest difficulty in that content quote unquote content you need to beat the hard and the extreme version you basically need the new character if you have anything less than the new character you, you basically can't beat it or you need god luck rng to beat it i just i don't get why they think that's content because it's not content that is literally just place this here for people that summon and got lucky to pull them or place it here for whales that are going to spend money on the game and they glorify this event because it's easy and it's a, a way to get free to play characters in a cool way but guess what not everybody is able to get the new characters that is my issue with that event it is dumb it is as i meme with everybody on discord i call it battle simulator 2.0 because all you're doing the whole time while you're playing that that event is waiting for the armor and then you're trying to destroy it and then you can't destroy it because you don't have the new character so half of your life is gone then the second armor goes up then you can't destroy it again because you already wasted your ult on the first one or your rising rush for whatever reason because they think that's a good idea and then you lose all of your health and then the the boss tap attacks you and you can't dodge it and you die or you do a blast card and the boss does a strike and it doesn't matter whether he has blast armor or not he will kill you because he he completely goes through it it's a lot of dumb things with that event i don't know why they think that's content it's not content uh... I'm trying to think here. What else is a mistake that Legends did? Another thing I will say, in total, Legends, the fourth anniversary, we all know. I'm, I'm fairly certain no one is defending Legends at this point. The fourth anniversary is horrible. The summonable characters. In total, there are three main ones, which was the MUI, who you need high stars for him to be good. I don't care how hard you want to cope. You need to have him six stars in order for him to do good. You need Super Saiyan 3, you have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that came out who's solid at low stars, his defense is is on the lacking side, but he's not MUI lacking level. He can still tank with his 60% damage reduction. And then you have this Ultra Super Vegito, which no matter who it is, it's an Ultra. They're going to make him overpowered for no reason. But I will say the good thing is, this Ultra Super Vegito is a defensive type. So his stats are lower than normal. But his defense, surprisingly, and I'm saying this for a reason, because they, they, for whatever reason, hate giving defensive types good stats. He has good defensive stats. And that's surprising. Usually when it comes to defensive units, they have horrible stats all across the board. But it makes sense. You know why? Because this is an ultra. It's That's the reason why, I can tell you. If this was another normal sparking, like, just to give you an example, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, when he, re when he released... He was bad. People overrated him very fast. And guess what? He aged within two, three days or something like that because it was just badly designed. Then they had to release the most broken equip in the game for him and then all of a sudden he was good. But guess what? He needed the broken equip to be good. The same thing goes for the Super Vegito. He's not bad, mind you, but he's not Ultra Super Gogeta level or Blue Kalkin Goku level. This Ultra Vegito, as, as hard as people want to argue, and they want to cope, this is not the best Ultra, and it's it's not even close. Ultra Super Gogeta, all you need to know. He has type neutral, he can lock you in, he destroys your cards with blue cards, he has two ultimates, and he heals every time he fills the ult gauge. The ult, uh, sorry, the special gauge. That's all you need to know. Already better than uh, Ultra Super Vegito. The blue cow can. You do long combos. What do you get for doing long combos? You get your full gauge back, your vanish gauge back. If that's not enough, every time you feel the gauge, you stack your damage. Is that not good enough? Your green card, when you use it, you draw a card, you continue the combo, you feel the gauge, you get another green card. And you keep going and going and going. And then Ultra Kao Ken Goku's uh, uh, ultimate can hit as one of the hardest if you stack it up a bit. It, it just it goes on and on. And this Ultra Super Vegito... He's good, mind you, but he's nowhere near the other two levels. And I know people are coping. I know y'all. I know. I know some people already that are like, but it makes no sense. Ultra Super Vegeta can go tight neutral on one shot red units. That's cool. But guess what? Ultra Super Gogeta can do that twice, 
and he has two ultimates that can two shot that can one shot two units he has two ultimates that's all you need to know he is already better than ultra super vegeto as hard as you want to cope about it it doesn't matter they're both on super saiyans guess what use both of them you don't want to argue about which one's better that's fine use both of them on super saiyans and then you literally can't lose if you lose i don't know what to say you just you probably shouldn't play the game anymore to be honest oh uh, and that's that's i don't know that's really about it i'm just this whole celebration is just a whole mist in my mind i don't understand how they thought hey let's release minimal content bad free to play characters that age as soon as they release some uh, random equipment for units that aren't even relevant to the celebration at all and then let's release for part the next part let's release uh, another the worst free to play unit we've seen in a long time the Majin Vegeta and then let's release an ultra that is doesn't top the past two but it's a Vegito and every celebration doesn't go without a Vegito it's just just legends for some reason they love Vegito every anniversary no matter what has a Vegito in it so we knew from the beginning that ultra super Vegito was going to be a thing for those of you wondering why it's because of the time schedule fits exactly to this place and we already know legends can't go without a Vegito. So if they didn't give us a Vegito in part one, part two, part three, whatever, it was going to happen towards the end. And sure enough, we got it here. And I want to clarify there. Yes, they gave out a lot of free stuff. Yes, I understand. But that doesn't matter when you get the new character if you're lucky enough and you can't use him. MUI, for example, you pull him. Cool. You need him six stars. Or no, what was it? You needed him like. To be like a red four or something in order to get a super increase in medals from the raid the raid is its own problem it's a dumb thing you need three thousand medals to get the lfz power that's dumb you shouldn't have to spend that much time grinding the game just to get one copy of an a random lf not even a new one it's a random old lf you have i get it it's a free lf but think about it this way they gave us two multis that each multi is guaranteed to give an LF and all you had to do was log in play a little bit of the game and you got two free LFs why does it take you 3,000 medals from the raid event to get the LFZ power I don't understand and yes I get it the tickets are random you don't know which LF you're gonna get but guess what not all of us can use the 600z power for something that that they know they can use some of us just wanted to have it to hold it and then we can't even get it some of us you know luckily for my situation i have time here and there to play the game often but even i don't feel like playing this game after this this celebration it put a sour taste in my mouth before this anniversary was even a thing they did they were doing horrible now yes i understand the what was it a legends festival where they released goku vegeta and trunks and they had the broly goku black and rose duo i understand that was a good celebration but the issue is before that the celebrations were not great it was all just hype from people waiting for new characters and i don't like the way that that is set up it's just it's a whole thing but the whole thing is that for we played me specifically i shouldn't say we i've played for four years and this is easily by far the worst celebration. I would argue that the first celebration is better because they gave content. And same thing goes for, as some of y'all are probably going to be mad at this, but honestly, I don't care at this point. Dokkan's first anniversary, I would argue, is better than Legend's fourth anniversary. That's how bad it is. Now, mind you, Dokkan's first anniversary was not bad. They did insanely well. They sold STR Gojin and Janimba like crazy. And uh, another thing for that past time, if you had STR Gogeta, you could lose. You needed STR Gogeta back in the day to win events because they were actually hard back then. But that's a whole dis different situation. For this, where Legends were four years in and they refused to give us anything for content. That's the main issue. I just don't get it. Uh, I don't want to go on for much longer, but I just had to come on here and say that. I just don't understand what their thinking point was. By all means, if you know, let me know in the comments because apparently it's slipping my mind as to why they thought it was okay to give us minimal content 
and give us three three separate banners for three different parts and the only time we got quote unquote a good amount of content was part one where we had the four four free to play characters and they were all bad and then part two we had Gogeta part three we had Majin Vegeta who's complete garbage I, I, I don't get it I don't get it I don't that, that's all I have to say um, you could tell me your thoughts in the comments maybe you have a different idea maybe you think this is a good anniversary I'm gonna tell you right now though before you type if you have not been playing for the past at least two years I, I don't want to hear your opinion because it doesn't matter I know people don't like that 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 thought process but at the end of the day it's us OG players that have a thought around this game and know what we're talking about what we're doing and what we say for you know stuff for celebrations for units the gauging I had this this argument on discord for the longest time people thought when LF Bardock released that he was not mid I have said for the longest time when I first saw his kit I said he is mid people thought I was wrong he released guess what he was mid he was DOA Super Saiyan 4 LF Goku same issue I said he was DOA he released he was DOA nobody uses those two and it's funny that they're two yellow LF characters but that's just apparently how Toshi likes it they like to screw around with yellow LFs they don't like them <clears throat> and that I just I don't know I don't get it like I said if you have played this game for more than two years then please let me know if you have a different out outlook on this celebration because I, I don't get it it's it, this is easily the worst celebration it's four years in I don't know what they're doing I, I really don't and, uh, I don't know as far as content goes this will this will probably be like the title to get my point across but where I choose to go for my channel I don't know now I'm not saying I'm I'm quitting legends because I don't want to lose my account that I've played for four years with it is a, a highly stacked account like it is beyond a broken account for a free-to-play character I have a 14 star ultra Kaioken Goku you know I got basically every Zenkai except for um, LF Piccolo, LF Piccolo, I only have them like four stars or something. That's because I never summoned on the banner for them. Uh, that's, I think that's the only regret I have is not summoning for them because back then, Piccolo really wasn't that great, to be honest. I think people actually did overrate Piccolo. But Frieza, on the other hand, was a monster and he was for a while, a lo quite a long time. But back then, I, j I couldn't pull Frieza and I didn't pull Piccolo either, but... I did a few multis and then I stopped. I started saving for the anniversary after that. But the whole point is I'm not, I know it makes it sound like I'm quitting Legends, but I'm not quitting Legends. I'm, it's just the content that I make compared to before, which was, oh, I upload basically almost every day, like random PVP videos, whether it be uh, PVP with God Key or uh, PVP with this new equipment that this character has. The only re I'm going to tell you right now, the only reason why I made that video for LF Kid Boo with the new plat Platinum Equip was because Hyper from the Discord server uh, told me that he wanted to see my Kid Boo with the, the, plat the Platinum, the new Platinum Equip. And I said that was fine, I don't mind, but it's just I had no, I had no plans to make that video until Hyper said he wanted to see it. And I said, that's fine, I don't mind showing you what he looks like. As far as for those of you that want to know and haven't seen the video and you don't want to see the video, that's fine. You want a short little summary? He's nothing special. Good, sure, he has good damage, but his defense still hurts and he gets one shot and he's stuck on powerful opponent. That is a dumb design. You should not stick a character to one team unless you make them overly powerful. Like, just to give an example... You have the androids. You can use them on every single team, no matter what team you use, as long as you put them in the leader slot. They should have been restricted to androids or future, just to calm them down and stop them, and they shouldn't have been as powerful as they were. The androids in general were a mistake. We all know this. But they should have been restricted, and Kid Buu should not have been restricted. He should have been 
if you have powerful opponent, you get extra damage. If you have region, you get extra health and defense. If you are not on either, then you get a balance of they give what like 30% damage or blast something like that if you have PO on your team for the amount of PO uh, characters on your team it should have been or if you are in neither one of these teams in region or in a powerful opponent or PO I'll just say PO if you aren't in PO then you get a balance of 5% health and 15% to both offenses and 15% to both defenses I don't get why they don't think of these things Kid Boo is nothing, even with the new plant. He will not be used. I can tell you that right now for free. Again, I know how to gauge these units. It's something I have to tell my Discord constantly, but I know how to gauge units. You're not going to see Kid Boo. I'm going to tell you that. Unless you run into another person who's trying them out for the first time, or they're making a showcase on them, or, you know, some people like to make two, three showcases, you know, non zenkai buffs then you've got zenkai buffs it, it it's up to the person that's recording or making content whatever it may be maybe this person just really likes kid boo and he just wants to use kid boo sure go for it but he's gonna get like two tapped by anybody um it's, it's just it's really it's just a matter of if you're low rank it does not matter what you use have fun in the game that's the point but if you are in higher rank, you cannot use Kid Buu. It's, it's just that simple. And it just it runs down to a lot of stuff like that. So the point is, I'm not going to stop playing YouTube. Uh, sorry, a little bit uh, on my game here. I'm not going to stop playing Legends. I'm just not going to record as often unless either people in Discord tell me, hey, I want to see... You know, let's just say uh, next week or this coming week when we get the raid for the the new raid, I should say. Let's just say we get an also a surprise equip for, um, let's see, who's someone who could get a surprise equipment? Uh, okay, let's say Grade 8 Vegeta. Let's just say he gets his surprise plat next week, which won't happen. This is... It's not going to happen. It's just a, a what if situation. Let's just say next week he uh, with the raid comes his equip. If someone tells me on Discord, hey, um, Vegeta, you know, or Vegeta, whatever you want to call me. My Discord name is Vegeta. You could call me Vegeta, Xavier. I don't care. That That's up to your preference. Whatever you decide to call me. If you tell me, hey, I want to see a showcase on this guy with the new equip being the example being grade A Vegeta with the new grade A plat. And that's fine. I have no problem with it. In fact, I might make a video on, on that anyways because it's Vegeta. I have to. It's Vegeta. But, um, you know, it's just it's stuff like that. And the, you, the funniest thing part to me is I understand the main point, right? This is a gotcha game. They want you to spend money. They want you to do that so you can pull. You have a chance to pull the new character. But this is part three of the fourth anniversary. And we have zero content. We have nothing to do at all. All we have is the banner and uh, the full power battle for Majin Vegeta, which no one is going to do because the Majin Vegeta sucks. And the full power event is not fun. Nobody likes doing it. Everyone on Discord tells me the same. They don't like it. And that's it's to be expected. It's a, it's a bad event. Um... As far as Dokkan goes, obviously Dokkan is better than Legends. It's, it's not even close. I don't even think anybody thinks Legends is better than Dokkan unless they don't play Dokkan. And they just want to say that their game is better. Obviously being based. That's just... You just have to ignore those people. And just acknowledge the people that have played both games for a significant amount of time. I've played Dokkan for seven years and I've played Legends for four and a half. Because of the... For those of you that weren't there at the time... You could play a beta version where all the summons were free. Everyone had all the, all the characters. <clears throat> Everyone had all the characters maxed. And you would just play uh, player versus player. And summon, you know, for fun to see the animations and all that. You know, whatever it may be. So I played Legends for four and a half years. That being the beta included. And Dokkan for seven. And it's 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 a, it's a, just amazing how, how bad they messed up this anniversary. And that's... 
by the way uh if you're still watching i appreciate you but i'm gonna put a uh i'm gonna pin a comment to leave a my friend code from discord in the comment section so you can add me as a friend and if you'd like i i again i want to preference this i don't mind playing legends with you guys i know i said you know I, i'm not feeling the mood to play or this and that but what i mean is i don't have a pre i don't have the feeling to play the game um competitively if you will and i mean that in the sense of ranked matches right i don't feel like going into ranked matches and trying to get god rank that's 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 the thing of the past for me. I, I don't care for that anymore. I, I once did. I was like, oh, this is cool. A new rank to reach. Now, it, it just it doesn't matter to me. Because it's a bunch of crap that you have to deal with in order to get to high rank. You have to deal with lag, draw hackers. You have to deal with people that are lag switching. You have to deal with the android with a bunch of green cards because of Whis. And it's just, it's a whole thing. I don't know. Anyways, I'll leave my, my Discord friend code in the in the description so you can add me as a friend. If you want to PvP against me, sure, just DM me. Let me know, hey, are you free? I'll tell you if I'm free. Or if you need help in Legends, team building, all that. Dokkan team building, you know, you need advice for how to beat an event. You need, you're a new player, you want my help, sure. I don't mind. It's what I'm here for. I've told people this before. Even though, you know, my channel pretty much at this point is, is dead. It's already, it's, it's not going to grow at this point. It's already, you know, at its stopping point. I'm still here to help you guys that are still here. You just have to let me know. Uh, preferably, like I said, on Discord. If you don't have it, just, just install it. It's a small app. It doesn't take that much space. And I get every single notification that you ping me or message me on because it's a Discord. YouTube does not like giving me notifications. You can message on the on the comment section, tell me, hey, I like your content. Please keep making it. Don't stop. You know, whatever you want to comment. Hey, I, I hate your content. It's dumb. You should stop making videos. Whatever it may be, I might not see it because YouTube doesn't like giving me comments or notifications for comments. You could say, hi, how was your day? You know, maybe you want to talk. I, I might not see it. That's why I tell people to add me on Discord. Is because I quite literally cannot see the the notifications. So and that's that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this much longer. I'm sure this is 32 minutes. I I doubt anybody's watching at this point. But if you are, I appreciate you. And uh, that, that's all I have to say. This is was ba this was the, basically my rant, my rant about the whole fourth anniversary because I don't understand why they thought that this was a good idea. To be honest, I just I don't. Anyways, I'll uh I'll see you guys next time. Peace.